Discovering the Future, a guide to simple future tense. Hello, language explorers. Welcome back to our series on English grammar fundamentals. Today, we're going to dive into the simple future tense. This tense is your magical gateway to discussing future events or states. Let's break down this seemingly complex topic and make it simple, engaging, and fun. The simple future tense is used to express an action that will occur or a state that will exist in the future. This tense is most commonly used with the words will or shall. For example, I will go to the gym tomorrow. In this sentence, will go indicates a future action. Let's set some rules to make it even more straightforward. 1. Rule 1. We use the simple future tense when we plan or decide to do something just before we say it. 2. Example. I will answer the phone. 3. Rule 2. It's also used when we predict a future event. 4. Example. It will rain tomorrow. Now, let's take a look at some examples to solidify your understanding. 1. Example 1. She will buy a car next week. 2. This sentence expresses a future action, buying a car, that will take place next week. 3. Example 2. We will celebrate our anniversary at a fancy restaurant. 4. Here, the future event is the celebration of an anniversary. 5. Example 3. I will be happy if I pass the exam. 6. This example illustrates a future state, being happy, dependent on a condition, passing the exam. Remember, practice makes perfect. Try creating your own sentences using the simple future tense. Don't forget that we can also form negative sentences in the simple future tense. We simply add, not, after, will. 1. Example 1. I will not go to the party tonight. 2. Example 2. She will not complete her project tomorrow. The contraction of, will not, is won't. So you can also say, I won't go to the party tonight. And there you have it. The simple future tense, a key tool to express your future actions, predictions, and plans. Keep practicing and soon you will master the art of the simple future tense. We hope this video was helpful and enlightening. Until next time, keep exploring the beauty of English grammar.